Welcome to the Rockwell Software Webinar Series. In this session, we'll be hearing from Tad Payless, Visualization Product Manager, as he introduces some of the features in version 9, the latest release of Factory Talk View Machine Edition. Welcome, Tad. Thank you for taking the time to attend this webinar on Factory Talk View Machine Edition 9.0. 9.0 has added several new features to our suite of functionality. There's several design time improvements as well as some runtime enhancements. And we've added Windows 10 platform support for the editor and the runtime environment. In the design time environments, there's some usability improvements for building your MER um, or adopting a common installer that's going to be shared by all of Rockwell Automation products as well as providing runtime improvements for your operator's experience. In the design time, one of the critical things we've done is adopted a common installer that's going to be used by the Logix Designer, the View Designer, Factory Talk View Machine Edition, Factory Talk View Site Edition, and many other products in the Rockwell Automation family of software products. The benefit of this is that it's a very intuitive process, it's very modern, and any knowledge that's gained by the person doing the install will transfer from one product to the next because the look and feel of the installer is common to all of the products. Another improvement that we've made is in building the MER files. Um, often in the past, when you built an MER, you had to remember to add the languages that you wanted for language switching, or you had to change the version number of the MER um, to the proper, uh, like the previous version that you were trying to build. Uh, for instance, if you were using Factory Talk View Studio 9.0 and you wanted to build a 7.0 MER, you had to remember to change that setting. In 9.0, Studio will actually persist those settings between edit sessions, saving you time and trouble um, from building the MERs over if you don't build the right one the first time. For the runtime improvements that we've made, um, one of the really crucial ones is the ability to provide your operator with a more context sensitive alarm experience. So in the studio environment, every alarm can be associated a unique identifier by the HMI designer, by the person creating the project. And at runtime, as the operator scrolls through the history list of alarms, this a unique identifier can be written to a tag. So once the system knows what alarm an operator is looking at, we can take many different um, context sensitive behaviors. And I'd like to refer you to the handouts. There's a really informative video um, that's been produced for this feature and um, it's, it's really exciting and, and I think it's going to help uh, improve the functionality for operators. Another function that we've provided is to support Logix extended tag properties. So in the Logix designer, you can turn on extended properties for your tags, things like um, min and max for an analog value, or state zero and state one for a, a, a digital tag. Um, we can't previously access these in Factory Talk View ME or SE. Um, in version nine, we can. And the benefit here is it simplifies the process of supporting localizations for the captions and text on your HMI display. Uh, rather than having to create fixed text in the HMI, you can reference these extended tag properties which are used both in the Logix editor environment as well as the runtime for the HMI. And again, I would refer you to a video that's been produced in the handout section to learn more about this exciting new feature.
In Factory Talk View 9.0, we've also added the ability to customize the appearance of our input um, tools. So we have keyboard emulator and keypad emulators that until now had a fixed appearance. Um, there's been feedback from the customers and from the field that they desire to have a more customized appearance, a more modern look and feel for these inputs. And using the 9.0 feature, you can configure these keyboards and keypads to exactly your desired look and feel. Uh, one of the cool features in here is there's a preview, so you don't actually have to run the uh, MER to see what the keypad's going to look like or the keyboard's going to look like. You can preview it directly from ME Station. Another productivity improvement that we've made <clears throat> is to allow multiple displays to be launched when the application is first run. Um, this is particularly useful when trying to use ActiveX controls like Data Store Plus that has to be resident in memory in order to function in the background. Before 9.0, there was an application note. Um, there was uh, a process that you had to implement in your application to essentially start multiple displays one after another by cascading them. With this new setup it done at the application startup in the Studio Designer, you can pick up to five different displays that will be started at runtime. Uh, this can save time and complexity in the application. Another feature that we've added is a hyperlink animation. And this is going to work from the View ME display or from a viewpoint client connected to a Panel View Plus 6 or 7. Um, previously, we had to use an application node and one of our ActiveX controls to essentially produce a hyperlink animation. Um, now we can have any object on the screen behave in this way from a, from a touch event and bring you to a web page or open a PDF file um, or, or view a, um, a video file on the Panda View Plus or on an industrial computer running Factory Talk View ME. As far as platform support, um, one of the Things that we've done that's going to open up some new opportunities and new applications for the PanelView Plus 7 standard family is to increase the application constraints for this product line. In previous builds, we were limited to 25 displays. In 9.0, you can build an MER for a PanelView Plus 7 standard that uses up to 50 displays, 25 replaced displays, and 25 on top displays as well as an increase in the number of alarms that can be used in this application. We can now handle up to 500 alarms for a panel view plus 7 standard. Any application that you build with Studio 9.0 couldn't be run on a panel view plus 7 standard running the 8.0 or later firmware. <coughs> However, um, care has to be taken when restoring those uh, 8.0 or 8.10 or 8.20 applications uh, with the legacy version of Factory Talk View Studio is if you exceed the application constraints, you won't be able to rebuild the MER. With Factory Talk View 9.0, we are pleased to announce our support for Microsoft Windows 10 in both 32 and 64 bit configurations. On this slide you can see our complete list of supported operating systems as well as operating systems that we no longer support and the latest version or the last version of Studio that supported that particular operating systems. It's always important though to go to the Rockwell Automation Compatibility and Download Center online to view the latest information regarding operating system support.
for more information, I'd invite you to go to the RockwellAutomation.com website to find the Factory Talk View ME homepage, or to learn more about some of the features I've talked about, look at the handout section and view the videos that you can find there. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope you enjoy using Factory Talk View Machine Edition 9.0.